You might have noticed that Joe Biden draped a so-called progress pride flag on the White House in between two American flags to mark Pride Month at an event also infamous for someone flashing their fake breasts. I'm Rich Lowry, and I'm here to tell you why the pride flag is so ugly and so noxious. The power of the stars and stripes derives from its extraordinary history, from its relatively simple design, from its easily understood symbolism, and from its call to unify all Americans. The pride flag is the opposite in all respects. It's constantly being refashioned. The version displayed on the White House dates just back to 2018. It's an aesthetic disaster. It's inscrutable, and it's all about elevating and honoring splinter groups. If you wanted to create a visual representation of so-called intersectionality, these flags would be it. Now, the relatively old-fashioned, now quaint pride flag started out with the rainbow colors, of course. The stripes are supposed to represent things, life, sunlight, etc., rather than specific groups of people. Started out as eight stripes, then went down to six stripes, and now additional stripes and symbols have been layered in. As it happens, there are flags, dozens of flags, for every possible identity and orientation. Pansexual, asexual, gender fluid, non-binary, you name it. And how could they be left down? First, the city of Philadelphia in 2017 adds black and brown stripes for people of color. Then a designer takes that, keeps the black and brown stripes, adds three more stripes from the transgender flag, creating the progress pride flag that was at the White House the other day. And then another designer takes all that and adds the intersex symbol from the intersex flag, creating something that has all the visual appeal of a television test pattern. And how can any group possibly be excluded going forward? Before it's all said and done, this thing is gonna look like a Sherwin-Williams fan deck if it doesn't already. Like the LGBTQ plus cause generally, the pride flag is increasingly esoteric and obsessed with identity politics. All this should be unnecessary because we already have a flag that includes everyone, that doesn't require constant ideological makeover, and that isn't an eyesore. The stars and stripes should be sufficient for June, and for every other month. Hey, by the way, check out Douglas Murray's video on why the left's concept of equity makes no sense.